Oh, all right, everybody. Hello and welcome to Gym Leader Rob. My name is Rob. Um, I don't. Did I load the wrong game in? Let's find out. Okay, so I have a save here. Um, but that's actually because I saved, I randomized and saved over my last save game, so it's confusing them. Um, so this is fully randomized. Uh, Pokemon Emerald, as you can see, uh, my first Twitch stream of all time where I will be streaming Pokemon Emerald. Um, I just tossed this through the randomizer. Everything has been randomized. That's pretty cool. Um, everything has been randomized, so Pokemon are randomized. Um, Pokemon moves are the same. Pokemon abilities have been randomized, which I thought would be kind of funny. I did take off, uh, uh, whatever Shedinja has. Whatever, what is the stupid thing with the little thing? Whatever Shedinja has, there's none of that because that would be stupid. I am going to name my character Rob because I am Rob. And then let's see what we want to name. Oh, we don't get to name our rival in this game. So let's hop right to it and get into the back of the car where our mom left us. Uh, but yeah, so TM compatibility is also is also randomized, as well as uh, I'm trying to think. TM compatibility, Pokemon abilities are randomized. Other than that, I think every obviously trainer names and, and trainer Pokemon are randomized as well. So pretty much everything has been randomized except for base stats and move pools and evolution lines. The the essentials have been left the same. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Rob. Let's go inside. Let's go inside, Mom, and hurry up so we can get to this stinking first three Pokemon. What time is it? What time is it here? 11.45 where I am. I'm going to call that... 12. Cool. Mom, what's up? Rob, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Yeah, I mean, free labor is so convenient. Especially when it's a random pet that you can just make do whatever you want. Oh, Rob, Rob, come, come quickly. Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from in front of Petalburg Gym, where you just missed your dad. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but he missed him too bad. Oh, yes, Dad's friends live far away from here. He doesn't live with me. Apparently, we're divorced. Or something, some unexplainable situation. Uh, I have to go talk to May, and then we can get our first three Pokemon encounters. Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're Rob, our new next door neighbor. You have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter is excited about making new friends. Well, good for her. Our daughter's upstairs, I think. I think? Let's just steal this Pokemon from her. Huh? Who are you? Oh, you're Rob, so your move was today. I'm May, glad to meet you. I had this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world, and I heard about you, Rob, from my dad, Professor Birch. Now, so, Professor Birch, he's important. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I've just met you, Rob. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot I was supposed to go help dad catch Pokemon. Go help him catch Pokemon, she says. Which is excellent, because it only took us a couple minutes to get to the most important meal of the day which is brand new spanking pokemon there's cries coming from up above up in front of me above that doesn't make any sense <laughs> i wish they could randomize that sprite that'd be funny if it was like arceus behind them like <laughs> just ready to absolutely pounce huh in my bag there's three pokemon a chinchu a cray dilly and a caterpie Huh. That's a tough choice. Um, I am going to go with... So I'm used to playing Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green where you have to fight your rival right away and he has a Pokemon that's the same level as yours. So you're kind of screwed if you don't pick the right Pokemon. But I can pick whatever I want in this game because I only have to fight a level 2 Zigzagoon. So my choice is Chinchu or Cradilly. Cradilly is fully of. I like Chinchu. I'm gonna go with Chinchu. I like Chinchu. 
Hopefully it makes it long enough to the point where, we'll, where we can learn some cool moves. It's a very weak Pokemon to start, so kind of dangerous. But hey, it learns Thunder Wave. And that's all I care about. It can paralyze everything that we need to catch going forward. So even if Chinchu sucks, we get, we get a couple encounters where we get to paralyze right away. Bubble should do a fourth. Wow. Chinchu with the monstrous bubble. And that thing was holding, what, a citrus berry? I sped through that. I <laughs> I guess it's holding the berry that can't be stopped. Jeez. All right. Bubble. Away, Pico. All right. Chinchu gets the first victory, which is awesome. I was in the tall grass studying while Poke wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot, Oh. Hi, yo, Rob. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? Okay. Okay. I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I get it with a plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Ah, yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. We've got Chinchou. Chinchou? Chinchu? I really thought about it. I'm going to call it Ankler, which is actually a callback to my first Nuzlocke on my channel, uh, where I play Pokemon Fire Red. I don't actually use Chinchu, but I call it Ankler because it looks like an angler fish, and it's also an ankle biter, which is hilarious. It's tiny. It's cute. Let's go get, let's go fight May. Uh, is she going to have Caterpie or Cradilly? is the question. Uh, no encounters yet, as usual, because we don't have any Pokeballs. A Pikachu, despite the fact that it's a relatively cool encounter, is also a relatively useless encounter. Although, <laughs> abilities are randomized, so Pikachu has Drizzle, which would be an amazing combination. Are you kidding me? It could learn Thunder, and it always brings Drain. Oh, now I hope that's my encounter. That would be outrageous. 100% accuracy thunder all the time. That would be unbelievable. Let's go. Eckler needs the experience. So we got to fight. Uh, and since abilities are randomized, I completely didn't even take... It's carrying a citrus berry, which I'm actually going to give back to it. cool and uh let me see what its ability is it's got a lonely nature and it's got suction cups this is a second straight randomizer where i've gotten suction cups as the ability which is useless it just helps against whirlwind it's got a lonely nature which is plus to attack minus to defense which is garbage so chinchu has got a garbage nature because defense is already low so we're just taking away from a point that's already weak and then another pikachu with drizzle is so cool all right, whoops, super speed. Okay, this is not a good battle. <laughs> I'm going to escape with my life and stop speeding up. All right, this guy talks and gives me a potion, which is, is awesome. And this person on the PC, and we just need to heal up right quick because Chinchu has been getting his butt kicked, getting his booty smacked by that little sun current. And then we're gonna have to fight maybe a battle or two more this is a good matchup okay maybe we can soak up some experience here phoebus you stink uh you're gonna take forever though so i'll just run we need to soak up some experience here because ankler is not super strong and if it has cray dilly i don't feel super great about the fact that we might lose it to may a weeping bill i'm gonna run because that probably knows vine whip a charmander that would be a super cool pokemon to get and phoebus again chikorita would be super cool as well but we'll see so a lot of cool pokemon a swablu would be okay maybe one more level yeah that should be fine what could cradily cradily probably knows absorb which means i'll probably die but what are you gonna do sometimes you just gotta die <laughs> Sometimes you got to lose the Nuzlocke five minutes in and then just start all over again. Chikorita. All right. Go away. All right. Cool. So now we get to fight May, And as soon as we fight May, we will get five Pokeballs from Pops. Let's see. The Pokemon Founder Row 103 include... 
Include. Nerd. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. And then we get the Pokeballs. I need the Pokeballs. Do I have gym leaders open for this yet? Whatever. Scribe Mike has a Curry Dilly, which is rock grass? So it might be weak against bubble? Maybe? No. Who knows acid? Okay. Uh, I can paralyze it, which is nice. And it knows acid. Okay, so it apparently only knows acid. I Supersonic misses, which sucks. But Citrus Berry brings me back to full health. That was actually a really cool item to start the game with. Who knows ingrain? Rather troublesome. Okay, cool. Cradilly goes down, we gain a whole level, which is awesome. Is Cradilly the fully evolved form? I never liked the fossils from this game. Anywho, so it's not really a big deal. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, he just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You must be able to, you, you might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back. Let's do just that. After we heal. And then you can give me five Pokeballs. Uh, this is it, right? Yes! Oh, hi, Rob! I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellente. May's been helping with my research for a long time. Oh, oh, here, Rob. I ordered this for my research. Should have this Pokedex. Uh, Rob received the Pokedex. Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid, May, goes everywhere with me whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records his data in the Pokedex. Why, May looks for me while I'm out doing fieldwork and shows me. And she gave me five Pokeballs. Let the Nuzlocke begin. Let it begin. Alright, so... Ugh, Mom, give me the running shoes. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Oh, getting a little toasty in my room. Your father will be overjoyed if he were here living with us, but he's not. He's not living with us. He's somewhere else. So I actually don't want to get an encounter yet. Ah, I got it. All right, our Route 101 encounter is Drizzle Pikachu. Super freaking interesting. So the problem being, I can't use Bubble on it or it will die. Which sucks. But I can use supersonic and then it will get negatively affected by that which is nice so if it hurts itself but i don't what is pikachu's catch rate is the real question because i don't want to waste all five pokeballs but i can't attack it and i can't paralyze it because it's pikachu pikachu is loafing around pikachu has truant it's not drizzle pikachu and you know what that means. That means it's time to die, Pikachu. Because I'm not going to take a true on Pikachu. No encounter on Route 101. It's too bad. Sunkern, I don't have time for you. Oh, that would I thought it was Drizzle Pikachu. Apparently, um, that's its secondary ability would be would be Truant. So Drizzle or Truant were its two ability choices. That one happened to get Truant. So I don't even care. I don't even need that. How may I serve you? I need a billion Pokeballs, sir. I'll take 11 of those. And then I will take this. And I will take two of these. And I will take two of these. All right. Although I can't get paralyzed, so I don't know why I did that. All right, Route 103 encounter, and it's the first piece of grass, and it is a Chikorita, which is cool. Although it has a very, very bad catch rate, I don't know if I'm particularly excited about that. But it is a very cool and very useful encounter and gives me nice coverage because if I can catch it, theoretically I will have water, electric, and grass coverage just from two Pokemon. So hopefully Bubble doesn't do too, too much damage here. But we'll see. Okay, so it does pretty much the perfect amount Assuming I don't crit here, it should be on the cusp of red. 
but not all the way red? Question mark? Okay. Perfect. Pray. Pray for my Chikorita. Pray for it. Okay, we got 16 chances at it. I know starters tend to have kind of a bad catch rate, but at the same time, it's paralyzed, it's level 2, and it's in the red. And we get a Chikorita right away, which is freaking awesome! And I have no idea what to name it. It waves its leaf around to keep foes at bay. However, a sweet fragrance also wafts from the leaf, creating a friendly atmosphere that becomes the battler. I am going to call it... Walls. I'm going to call it Walls. Because its role on my team is probably going to be setting poison... Uh, setting <laughs> paralysis, setting walls. It's going to be setting walls. So now we get Route 102 as our next encounter. And I do, I, uh, okay. I forgot to heal Chikorita, so I do want to heal Chikorita because I want to go and fight um, the trainer right after. So I'm going to do that. And then we can see what ability Chikorita has. Walls has Swift Swim. So when it when it's raining, it's faster, which is actually kind of interesting. I guess if I wanted to run a rain team with my grass type, that'd be interesting. But our Route 102 encounter is next, and that means that we will be getting an opportunity at a Chansey? Which is super freaking weird. Is that... I can't decide if Chansey will be useful early game because its HP will be high and its attack won't be super far behind everyone else quite yet. Or if it will just stink because it's a Chansey. It's a good special defense wall. Pound does a reasonable amount of damage and I'm five levels higher. But can I catch it? Can I catch a Chansey? Is the real question. Because quite frankly... I think Chansey's catch rate is like 4. <laughs> its catch rate has to be astronomically low. It is paralyzed. It is red health. It is low level. But it's not even a shake. So now comes the question of... Do I want to waste all my Pokeballs on a Chansey? Because I have an encounter coming up after these three trainers on Route 104? I think it's 104. I don't want to use all of them, because I... But I do need a Pokemon. I've only got two. Alright, we got a Chansey. Let's go! Chansey, uh, Chansey lay nutritiously excellent eggs every day. The eggs are so delicious they are eagerly devoured by even those people who have lost their appetite. I'm going to call it... Uh, I'm going to call it... Uh, omelet. I'm going to call it omelet. Because um, I don't know if I want to use it and it makes eggs. So simple enough. Uh, this guy has a level 4? Maybe? If you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. I can and I shall. <laughs> Runs away. Fisher Mallory has a Corsola. Which is rock water, so that's neutral. And it can get Thunder Waved. Basically, Thunder Wave is the greatest move of all time in a Nuzlocke. Guaranteed paralysis on most Pokemon. Although Tackle does more than I would like. Ankler's extremely low defense is definitely going to come back to haunt me. But now I, I should outspeed now would be my guess. Oh, I already outsped. What am I thinking? I should still outspeed and hopefully paralysis. Oh, and a lovely little crit. Which is excellent. Ugh, I lost. I should have trained more. Let's see if I can train, give walls a level here. And then I'm going to go back and heal. Because I need to. A Grumpig. That would have been a cool encounter because it's Psychic type early. But I've never raised a Grumpig. I feel like it's based off its appearance. It's a bulky Psychic type. 
Side beam's a strong move early on. And it knows splash. It's other move that it knows is splash. That's super funny. All right, bubble should hopefully do half. Okay. Side beam does a lot of damage, but a crit won't KO because it did five damage. And this should KO anyway. It does not, and it's paralyzed. Okay. Saved potentially by the paralysis. That should be maybe a level for walls. Pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. Well, we're here. We might as well see. Prevents added effects. Hmm. Chansey has 12 special defense. It might be useful as a potential wall, but as of right now, I don't know if I really want to raise... A chancy concern the fact its upside is so low for anything except just a super situational Pokemon. Um, I'm going to do one more battle and raise up Chikorita. It's a chancy, which is awesome for experience. I don't... Chansey only knows Pound. Or apparently only knows Growl. Walls gets two levels because it's so much experience. So Chansey is an awesome way to, to raise... Your Pokemon, and let's see, it doesn't know a Grass-type move yet, does it? No. I am going to leave it in front because I'm going to switch train it, which is a little risky at this point, but I feel like this guy's probably going to have like a level 3 Pokemon if he has 2. That might be... I don't know if that's true or not, but we'll see. Dr. Mike sent out Chorchik. Which is an awful matchup for Walls, but a terrific matchup for Anklach. Ankler should be able to use Bubble. And... Sorry. As I research Ankler on the side. Alright. Walls grows levels. And Ankler goes to 9, which is awesome. He's about to send out a Zoomeril. I don't really have an answer for a Zoomeril. It's going to be kind of strong because it's fully evolved. It has Sandstream, which whips up a Sandstorm. What an incredibly unique ability for a Zoomeril to have. And then... Okay. Opening buff. I'm just going to Thunder Wave it to start. Is Azumarill steel water or just straight water? Tail Whip's a little scary, but we know it doesn't have super power or huge power or whatever it normally learns because it has Sandstream. So I'm going to use a bubble here. It's not very effective, but it does kind of enough. Sandstream is hilariously buffeting everybody. But that works now. Ow, down and out. Uh, we can heal one more time. We can heal just to be safe. All right. Chansey. I'm going to leave Chikorita in front because I happen to know that the next trainer is like a level three Pokemon to start. So not really much to worry about. Um, I do, as per usual, I do have the gym leaders uh, available. Let me see. Where is it? I have the gym leader levels up in front of me. So Roxanne has two level 12s and a level 15. Um, so typically I would cap my Pokemon somewhere between 12 and 15. I'm not going to let it go stronger than the um, than her strongest Pokemon because that's not fair. But I'm also not going to... Uh, I also want to know what her levels are. I want to be above t around 12 if not a little bit above 12 because quite frankly... I might need it. Walls grows to five. I feel like it learns Vine Whip relatively soon. Slugma should be an easy KO, although this is a higher level Pokemon if I remember. No, it's level three. So one bubble should KO here, and then I won't, okay. One bubble should KO here, and it can't get paralyzed, I think, because you can't stack statuses like that. Or can't get poisoned because you can't stack statuses like that. All right, Slugma's down nice and quick. Q. All right. 
I'm gonna get this Orin Berry, which is actually rather useful early game. Uh, give one, one to you, and one to you. At this point in the game, when that's one third of your health, that's such an absolute luxury to have. All right, let's just heal that paralysis real quick before I keep going, and then we can go ahead and go get our next encounter, which is actually pretty dope. I love the beginning of these games because the encounters are so early. I think this is the same route it is. So one more last, and then we get the encounter on 104, which is over there. Help me further my career. Weightlifter Joe. Ah. <laughs> has a swallow. So everything has been super effective against walls so far, but Ankler, as soon as it learns Thundershock, theoretically. Um, Chinchu Jennifer. Okay. Generation 3. It learns Spark at 25, so kind of a long way to get the electricity. But it does learn Water Gun at 17. It learns Flail at 13, which is absolutely useless. Because we're never going to want to be that low life in a Nuzlocke that we can Flail. Um, but it learns Spark. And it can learn Water Pulse and Surf and Thunderbolt. So if we get any good TMs, it could be a very viable Pokemon, particularly early on if we get like a nice Thunderbolt TM or Shockwave or something along those lines. It could be really helpful very early on. A Slowbro. I'm going to leave Ankler um, so that I can paralyze, but I don't think Bubble will do enough damage to really make this viable. It might because it's five levels higher, but probably not. Yan. Okay, well now I'll definitely switch out because Yan sucks. <laughs> and hopefully we can just chip away with Chikorita. 69. <laughs> uh, the Jet Throws. Yes, 69 experience is always hilarious. Uh, the question is... Okay, that did way more than I thought. Cool. <laughs> Slowbro has rough skin. <laughs> Stupid Slowbro. Uh, curse is kind of a bummer. Curse takes me into a place that I don't want to be. I'm going to switch back into Chinchu so we can do special attack. And then uh, hopefully take advantage of that. Paralyze is nice. We don't have to touch it and use rough skin again. And we'll get out of here with a W. And we can go get our next encounter, which is hopefully Lugia in the grass. And hopefully not some Phoebus or some stupid Pikachu with Truant like I had earlier. Oh no, I forgot. I always forget that there's this city first. I keep forgetting that. Am I allowed to leave? I am not. Oh, look, it's the gym. Let me hold your hand and put you right there. Super funny. All right, long walk away, guy. Hmm. Well, if it isn't Rob, so you're all finished moving in, I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Thanks, Dad, you jerk. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm, when I... Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Rob. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, uh, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm, hmm, you're a... Uh, oh, right, Wally, that forgettable kid from next door. I'm going to get... I'm going to go stay with my relatives in Van Derf Town. I thought I'd be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along, but I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. I say hmm a lot. Did I leave an item in the grass or was it a trainer? That's a good question. Wally received the Pokeball. I like how he gives him one singular Pokeball. Are you talking about the grass um, where I'm about to go with Wally? Because that's quite possible. Unless it's a hidden item. No, I don't. I think you might have missed scene or I missed something. There's a good chance that I walked right past that item, though. I don't. I wouldn't doubt it. Let's see what... Wally's going to get a Graveler. And when I did the randomizer, I checked the tiny little box that says Rival Carries... Uh, rival... Ca okay, this is a terrible matchup. Can he lose? If this knows magnitude, is he just going to lose? Attack missed. Awfully suspicious miss there, Graveler. 
Defense curl. That's kind of a lucky start for him with a Graveler. Down below me, there probably is an item. Let me go check. I'll check as soon as Wally catches this freaking, uh... Uses his one singular Pokeball to catch his giant rock monster that he's going to befriend in his new town. It's kind of funny. Gotcha, Graveler was caught. I did it! It's my Pokemon! Rob, thank you. Let's go to the gym. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it... Uh, thank you. Yes, it did. Here's the Pokemon back. Rob, thanks for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch a Pokemon. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> now... If you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustbo City beyond the town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. She's pretty hot. Alright, let's go check for that item. See if I did miss one. Aha! Bead mail! What would I have done without bead mail? <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. Too bad that's not actually something that's useful. Alright, so we have... I don't have a Pokenav yet, so I can't actually map out where I want to go. But we... Uh, my least favorite part about this game is that this stupid guy follows you around. Excuse me! Let me guess, you're the way... Uh, let me guess, from the way you're dressed, are you the Pokemon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes are all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry I've taken your time. Stop point. You're pointing out to the right also? Uh, I'm guessing you mean over here? Yeah, may have been that tiny kid's head. <laughs> That's probably believable. Yeah, it was probably that tiny kid's head. He's got grass in his nose, man. He's got enough to worry about. But let's see. This is officially Route 104, which means I officially get my... What is it? Fourth encounter? Fourth encounter. See, uh, I should have put someone first, and it's a Hopip! Oh my god. Dude, the Incarnates have been absolutely killing me so far this early. A Truant, a Pikachu with Truant, and a Hopip. And a Chansey. Nothing that can actually do any damage or learns any useful moves. I guess Hopip learns Synthesis, but it also only knows Splash. <laughs> the question is whether or not I should even waste my time catching it. I'm going to because I have no Pokemon, and maybe we can, I can jam Hop up into a battle one day and just let it die for the sake of the rest of my team. But maybe this bubble just KOs and we'll just move on with our life. Wow. Okay, not even close. Uh, Pokeball. Uh, we caught a Hop up. <laughs> Pokemon drifts and floats with the wind. If it senses the, the approach of strong winds, a Hopip links leaves with others to prepare for being blown away. I'm going to name it uh, Fodder. I'm going to name it Fodder because its only use is going to be fodder for the war machine as it absolutely just gets fed to its demise. Although maybe it has a cool ability. Maybe it has like drought has immunity so i have a fodder with an ex i have a hop hip with an extremely effective immune system which is nice i guess and then i have just this lady and then we get another encounter so hopefully we get something good we must have been fated to meet may i ask you for a battle i guess so lady i guess so i feel like i'm getting close to being over level well that kind of sucks <laughs> just the better version of me I wish I knew Vine Whip. That's got to be soon, right? Okay. Lantern is just better Chinchu, and I can't paralyze it. But it can't hurt me because that's what a crit did, so this might be a long, chippy battle. <laughs> Chinchu is not going to do anything as far as damage goes. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot I gave it that berry. Now I'm paralyzed and confused. She healed. Son of a gun. Of course she did. I'm gonna confuse it. Maybe it can do some damage to itself. Can you hit, Supersonic? Thank you. Alright. Maybe... 
All right. <laughs> Holy crap. Bulky Pokemon early game. And if only I learned Razor Leaf one level before, it would have been perfect. Walls grew to level nine. Walls grew two levels there, and Ankler gained a core of level. Am I misreading that? Uh... I need to heal. Chansey's special wall at least. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's special defense is already 12. Which is pretty freaking high for this early in the game. Uh, but the problem is, is I don't want I don't know if I want to put the time into keeping it up to snuff as far as levels go. My whole team's paralyzed. Because it would take just a little just that little bit of work to keep it up relatively close in levels, and I don't know if if it's worth it hopefully we'll have enough encounters coming up because we have this one in the woods and then we have um uh two after the gym leader so hopefully we'll just be able to replace chancy with some cool things that would have been a much cooler encounter let's try out the brand spanking new razor leaf does most of the damage all right cool I don't want to get over leveled because we're getting kind of close. I need one more Pokemon to kind of spread out the experience because I don't want to be like level 20 going to the first gym. Uh, I don't really want to fight you. Whoops. He looked back at me. I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. Go, 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 my bug Pokemon. Go. So I've had the extremely bad luck recently of every time I have an early battle, it's some super duper legendary Pokemon. I had a Metagross in my last playthrough, and I had um, a Rayquaza in the, the playthrough before that, and a Latias in the playthrough before that. So it's been absolutely screwing me over lately. So hopefully this guy doesn't, I mean this guy's not a big deal because they're all level three, but hopefully these early battles stop screwing me over. I really thought that was gonna KO. All right, one more, and then we get the K-O. And that should be, even though it's level 3, that should be a good amount of experience because it's fully evolved. Walls being the easy-growing grass Pokemon it is, is flying up the leaderboards. Aerodactyl. Weak against grass and water, but flying moves would probably really damage Chikorita, so we're going to go with good old Bubble. And it learns Water Gun in seven levels from now, so we gotta kinda. We gotta just kinda grind with Bubble. Omasta! Back to you. Skarmory? Okay, cool. I want this encounter. In my last playthrough, I got a Totodile on this encounter, which was super cool then. I'm hoping for another sick encounter here. Although Totodile would be crap because it'd be overlapping, but it'd be a really nice time to get like a Charmander or Charizard since it's a randomizer. Let's see what I can find. Our first encounter, Palpitoad. So many water types. <laughs> or Politoad, whatever the heck its name is. So many stinking water types. Oh, in my other stupid randomizer that I played, I had, and it knows Perish Song. It's just gonna kill itself. What do I do with Parasong? What a stupid move. Toad is decent. But I don't need... I don't need... Uh, I don't need water cover. That's a problem. Politoed is a solid Pokemon. But... Chinchu covers electricity and water. So... Unless I caught it in a cool electric type, it would... Alright, I guess this one Pokeball is going to be my one chance. It's paralyzed, so we got a chance. Pokeball, go! One? Not even a shake. Well, Politoed's gonna die. <laughs> I hate Parish Count. It's such a stupid move. Or Parish Song. Ankler grew to 11. I've had a tough go of it with encounters early on. Hopefully this isn't male. Red Flute. Which is infatuation, I believe. Nothing useful. But this next guy... Oh, I don't have an Awakening, do I? Oh. I gotta fight a wild Pokemon. I gotta wake this bad boy up, because the next guy has a level... Wow. That would have been a lot cooler. 
Come on, man. I don't know if I would have ever caught it, but that would have been way cooler. I gotta wake Ankler up before this battle, because I might need to paralyze. Oh, cool. And it KO'd. Dope! Let's go fight this extremely weird guy. Oof. Oof is right, dude. <laughs> Getting all the freaking cool Pokemon in my second account is... Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Yeah, good experience. Although I'm getting pretty close. The gym leader is level 12 and level 15 for its Pokemon. So I'm pretty much maxed out to where I want to be because I don't want to be over leveled. Yo, Devin Researcher, hand over those papers. <laughs> Aye. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Help me out, please. Huh? What do you think you're doing? What, you're going to protect them? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Come on and battle me. You got it, bro. Champion. Ooh. Has a dragon air. Oh, hot damn. Looks like we're both going to Thunder Wave each other on the first turn. Since that's... If this knows Dragon Rage, I lose. Like, I lose the whole game if this knows Dragon Rage. <laughs> Team Aqua out of Boston. Yeah, that's my that's my thug voice. <laughs> that's all I got for thug voices. Hopefully, I don't think Razor Leaf's not gonna do like much more. I'm just gonna keep bubbling. You know, it's twist there. Of course, it paralyzes me. That was that was a given. Okay. Ankle wins. You kidding me? You tough. I gotta think of another accent for Team Magma. Yeah, oh, you got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. <laughs> and hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. Go to Rustboro. All right, dude. Give me a great ball and let's get out of here. Thanks, man. Woo! All right, so looks like we're gonna take on the first gym with just. Chikorita and Chinchu. I probably should have healed Chinchu there before running into this guy, but it probably won't matter. I hope. Exploud. Cool. Uh, I'm just going to switch and assume Exploud. Huh. Actually. Huh. I'm going to heal because Exploud knows Stab Stomp, maybe? And that's going to do absolute damage. Okay, things are getting a little spicy with this x -Plout. Astonish is fine, although that is a physical move in this generation. Hopefully... Luckily, x special defense and, and defense sucks, so this should do at least half. Okay, my math apparently was wrong there, but I guess it only knows Astonish? Okay. Ooh. I don't like that. Since it only knows Astonish, I'm just going to send walls in. We'll outspeed and we'll be fine. Explod is paralyzed and cannot move. Yes. Ankler, your defense is so bad. When does it evolve? Now that's the question of the day. When does Chinchu evolve? Uh... 27? That's not bad. Magnemite? I bet I can just power a Razor Leaf through this thing. Yeah. Alright. Walls wins and I accidentally didn't learn Reflect, which sucks. That's what I get for Mashing B, because that would have been super useful. Crap. <laughs> the Lumberry. And another Politoed. I'm gonna I cannot believe that I just mashed B through that. That sucks. Uh, I need some berries. I need to heal you. I always forget about these last couple trainers. I don't want to look at the tag. I'm going to use it. Is this paralysis? Any status problem. Well, do I have a paralyzed heal? Oh... You're, ca you're catching everything that I'm missing right now. That would be 
super clutch. I just saw the word reflect kind of whiz by. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I almost just completely skipped out on one of the most useful moves just because I wanted to speed through five seconds of the game. Um, I'm not going to talk to those ladies because I know that Whelmer Pale is technically a key item. Um, so it doesn't get randomized. And Ankler and Walls are generally good enough. They should be able to smack around these tiny children. We are twins. We are battle Pokemon together. Cool. Togetherness. Old couple Max and Joe. Benjamin Button Syndrome. A Slowpoke and an Electric. That's fine. Super good matchup for me. Does Razor Leaf still hit both in this game? Yes, it does. Dope. New grass above the house. I believe this is the same item. Uh, sorry, the same uh, path. I believe. I will go back and check, though, especially if there's an item. And since Bubble's going to KO, we'll just speed that up. New grass above the house. I gotta sneak past this guy again. Turn away! Thank you. Uh, there is grass up here. Before I go up there, I wanna see... What is the name of this route? I need the Pokemon. This is 104. Yeah, so this is a continuation of the same route. So no new grass, but I'll take the item. A Miracle Seed. Oh, sick. That's actually very useful. Uh, I'm going to leave the berry and soft sand, which could be useful later. I'll take the uh, powering up items, though. That's pretty sick. These all look like they're secret items, but they are glitter mail for when I want to send mail to my girlfriend. All right. Uh, I'm not going to give Miracle Seed to Trickeroody yet because I, I think Oran Berry is a little bit more... <laughs> I think Miracle Seed is a little bit more uh, useful at this point in the game. I don't need to fight them because I don't want to be super over-leveled and there's still one person inside the gymnasium they need to fight. Sick callouts by me, haha. To be honest, I never even knew that that grass was up there in all the times that I've played Emerald. <laughs> I've never checked over there before in my life. Is that there in Ruby? Because I was a Ruby kid. It, it's quite possible that that's not actually there in Ruby. Or I'm dumb and never noticed. Uh, one potion, one super potion. I think I need a paralyze heal. All right, let's go fight this gym. And then, uh, I don't think, I guess I could go to the cut guy. We'll go get cut after. There's one trainer here. Oh no, there's two trainers because it's emerald. I have Ruby stuck in my hurt. Ah, there's a double battle here that usually gives me actually a little bit of trouble. So let's see what we can do. Fisher Wellington has a Carvana, which is super weak and shouldn't be much of a problem. Although I don't have the right Pokemon out. Go Walls! Use your mighty power of Leaf Razors. That did way more than I thought it would. Sink! Nice. The classic... Uh, physical attacking Pokemon from Gen 3 that can only learn special attack dark moves. Classic Gen 3 garbage. Making Absol and Sharpedo, two of the coolest designed Pokemon, absolutely freaking useless. Or borderline useless. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna get cut while I'm right here, and then we'll get that double battle in, and then we will hopefully not lose anybody. Yes, it's TM Cut, I know. Hopefully we won't lose anybody, because that would suck. I've had a rough day in my other playthrough. I lost, um... I'm trying to think. I lost my wall rain in my other playthrough today. And I'm trying to think. I don't think I lost anything else. My Mr. Mime last episode before that. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage. Rampage. Such a weird phrase to say. Author P sends out a Metacham and an Umbreon. Huh. 
Interesting. I don't think I need to worry about them defensively, but I also don't really know what they learn. I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna set up here with paralysis and reflect. Okay, it helping handed its detect. Super useful. <laughs> that detect has been super powered. Uh, well, now we have Reflect set up, which is nice. I'm just going to Bubble and Razor Leaf, because that hits both of them. Apparently, Umbreon only knows Helping Hand. Bubble is not going to do much. It's fine. Metatite raises its attack. But what does Metacham know? Does it know, like, High Jump Kick? Or do I not have to worry about it? Stop Helping Handing! Okay, well, now it knows Bide. Oh, no. Oh, it knows bide. Well, now I don't want to attack. <laughs> Umbreon has soundproof. Okay, that's fair. Umbreon soundproof stops everything. It's a Metacham. It's a Umbreon with headphones on. Uh, I still don't want to attack. <laughs> oh, I can tackle. I was thinking that all my moves hurt two Pokemon, so I don't want to. I don't want to actually hit Metacham's bite and then have it come back and kill me. But that should be fine. Okay, not that bad. So now we can get a bubble. We should be able to just KO before another bide happens and just be fine. Umbreon is super bulky though. Jeez. Alright, Metacham's down. Alright. There's more Pokemon! Okay. Uh, crap. Venusaur knows Leech Seed and... Vine Whip? I'm super weak to Vine Whip. Or at least Ankler. Ankler's super weak to Vine Whip. Razor Leaf's not gonna KO Umbreon unless it's crit. But I'm super worried about stinking Venusaur. Oh, helping hand Vine Whip is gonna KO the crap out of Ankler. Okay, that takes away Umbreon, right? Okay, good. That takes away Umbreon, but we only have weak moves against Venusaur. Ankler learned Flail. How useful in a Nuzlocke. What's the next Pokemon? An Electrode. Oh, no. Hoi! Welcome to me losing my Nuzlocke. Ah! Uh, Electrode's definitely gonna know Supersonic. <laughs> Helping Hand uh, boosts the, your friend's attack by 50%. So most of the time it's useless because it's boosting a mine in their Plusle's attack. But in this situation, it could have been useful, but it, it didn't end up being useful. Electrode's definitely gonna know. It's gonna outspeed everybody and it's gonna know soup. It's gonna know. How does it not outspeed? Electrode knows Sonic Boom, which does 20 damage, which is absolute murder at the beginning of the game. It's not, uh. I shouldn't have put fully randomized because it's not, it's not types randomized. I apologize for the confusion. Types and move pools and evolution lines have been left the same. TM compatibility along with uh, Pokemon and trainers, Pokemon and abilities are randomized. Sorry for the confusion, that's my fault. Uh, I'm just gonna heal Ankler, I guess.
Okay, so Electrode hasn't hurt me yet, which is nice. <laughs> and Electrode has changed... Changes its type to water. Which is super duper useful. Because that means... Chikorita is now super effective? Come on, Electrode. Don't supersonic me, man. Okay, Tackle's fine. Ooh, it crit, though. What's Venusaur doing? I hate double battles so much. Why does this game have so many double battles? <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> I saw that switch to to, uh, to water type, and I was like, Razor Leaf! Razor Leaf! <laughs> Can I ask what your favorite Pokemon... Is it Cacalinus? Is that how I should say that first? Can I ask, is it Cacalinus? Um, my favorite Pokemon is... It's changed over the years. It used to be Charizard when I was a kid. And then uh, it changed to Tyranitar when Tyranitar came out. Because Tyranitars are freaking awesome. I mean, come on. Uh, and then now, so now it's a uh, Linus. Oh, Car Cacalinus. Got it. Um, it's actually, recently, my favorite Pokemon is Snorlax. I like big bulky Pokemon when I do playthroughs. Um, just because it's it, I don't know when you when you're it's no fun running back to the uh, the Pokemon Center all the time. So typically, I like a big bulky Pokemon. Maybe with a recovery move, you can just kind of plow through the game. Oh, I thought you said that after. That's cool, man. Snorlax is so, small. Snorlax is the absolute jam. I am, uh, I'm 26, so I like, uh, the originals, hence, hence the background. I'm a big, I have a big, like, Kanto bias, but Snorlax is pretty cool. Uh, Lions, what's your favorite Pokemon, man? Or girl, I don't know. This Venusaur is paralyzed, okay. I'm on mobile, so chat is delayed. It's no problem. It just happened to pop up right when I said it. Venusaur fainted. Thank God Venusaur didn't know anything like Razor Leaf that would absolutely plow through my team. That was a surprisingly difficult battle, and I'm actually a teensy weensy bit over leveled compared to where I normally like to go. Um, normally, I like to have my Pokemon towards the lower end of the gym leader's Pokemon, but at this point in the game. With only two viable options, I'll stick with the 13 and 14. I think that's fine. We can go ahead and fight Roxanne. I like Ivysaur. I'm a guy. Uh, I like Ivysaur too. I like the whole. I like the whole line. I was a big fan of the anime growing up, so I, I like Bulbasaur. Um, Venusaur kind of depends on on who drew it. Venusaur looks super cool sometimes, and sometimes looks kind of derpy. But Ivysaur is a very cool Pokemon. Um, and I seem to get a lot of Venusaurs and Bulbasaurs when I do randomizers, so I see a lot of that line. Clefairy shouldn't be too, too much trouble. I assume it knows Double Slap or Pound. Pound? Jesus, Chinchu, you're so weak. Oh, Chinchu's defense. Chinchu has a defense hindering nature, too. So it just can't do anything. Just just get off the team. Just go with walls. We're going to have to ride Chikorita to victory here, hopefully. Matter of fact, I just changed my Twitch pick. I just changed my XBL pick to the same one yesterday. Uh, what is XBL? It's... I don't... I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. But I just changed my pick too, and it's actually a drawing of me. Um, it's a drawing with me with a Snorlax in the background. So my away photo on, on Twitch is actually me with a Snorlax. So proof that I didn't just say Snorlax for no reason right here. If we can help name a Pokemon, I would say only puns. I'm totally down for that, man. <laughs> I have no problem. Uh, name your Pokemon, whatever the heck you guys want to name them. We got two encounters coming up after this gym, so hopefully Blaziken doesn't absolutely wreck my 
face right now. Oh good, critical hits. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> Go find a rock Pokemon patch of grass and get your Chinchu some defense EVs lol. <laughs> oh, Xbox Live, yeah, that, that makes sense. I have a, I have a PS4, so <laughs> XBL is not in my my common uh, rhetoric. That's the only reason why I didn't I didn't know what you were talking about. Hopefully I have an Orenberry here. I should have bought another potion before I came in. <laughs> Jafart on Weezing. That's funny. I named Ankler uh, Ankler because he's an anglerfish, kind of, and he's he's an ankle biter. He's super small. So that was kind of the logic there, but J Jafart is a much better nickname. I really thought Bubble was going to do a lot more damage there. And I basically lose this entire Nuzlocke if Blaziken goes, if Blaziken beats me, uh, beats Ankler, so. Hopefully that doesn't happen, because I really don't want to restart and put it through the, the old randomizer again. But I don't, at 15, does it know double kick? Because I feel like Peck probably won't KO, although Chinchu kind of sucks. Okay. So she used the potion and it has an Orenberry. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that's some absolute garbage right there. Oh. Told some guy to name his explod bows and his beedrill alley. I get the bows one. I don't get the alley one. Dear God, this blaziken is super strong. Please hurt yourself. Early Nuzlocke is pain. Normally it hasn't been this hard, but I have gotten trash uh, encounters. So my first encounter, since abilities are random, my first encounter was a Pikachu with uh, Truant. So it was loafing around all the time. Oh, Muhammad Ali. Okay, that makes sense. I had a Pikachu with Truant. Thank God that hurt itself. <laughs> As I'm answering, I'm quietly getting super duper lucky. Uh, yeah, Pikachu with Truant was my first encounter. I just killed it. Because, quite frankly, I do not want a Pokemon with Truant on my team. Um, my next encounter, I have a Chansey encounter. And I had... I'm trying to think. I feel like I had one more, but maybe not. So I've had Garbage encounters. Usually I have three Pokemon, and it makes it a little bit easier. Just for that slight larger coverage. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. That's a good point. Your jokes are better than mine. <laughs> Apparently. What is up with the critical hits? I like when I get them, though. This should KO, right? Thank God. I was worried there. If anybody if anybody in the team goes down there, we're absolutely screwed. And we get effect powders, thank God. Uh, we don't need Grell. We have Reflect. That's the same thing. Learn Poison Powder. Alright, so now we can stun and we can poison, which is absolutely awesome. And we got our first gym badge, and she gives me a randomized TM, which is, please, God, be Earthquake or Thunderbolt or something. Something. Oh, the other encounter that I forgot was Politoed that used Parasong and killed itself. So garbage encounter so far, but what are you going to do? Please take this with you, too. 16 for Bailey for 18. I can never remember with the starters. It's, I feel like it bounces between 14, 16, and 18 all the time. So I can never remember. It's bulk up. Hmm. Walls can learn it, but it only knows the special attack and move and tackle. So I'm not going to teach it. But that could come in handy later. For sure. Hmm. Get out of the way! <laughs> this fat guy running behind. Wait, please! Don't take my goods! My goods! Not my goods, man! 
Um, I really like Politoed. I really like Poly, uh, Polyrath. So, uh, I never, I've never had a Politoed because I always choose Polyrath. I like the fact that it's just like a weird, muscular, friggin' evolutionized tadpole or something. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know, but I dig it. I don't want to talk to this guy. Oh, it's you! You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me! I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Let's see what you get on one, 105? There's no grass up here, right? I think I gotta wait. 115? How do the numbers go in this game? Weren't we just on 104? I follow your logic that that should have been 105, but it's 116. And let's see what we get here. I want to get my encounter before I fight that guy. So I'm going to go down here. And see what I get. <laughs> Whoa, <Whooper. laughs> Oh, does it have a ground typing when it's a baby? It does. Because of his goods. <laughs> Guy sound, guy sounds shady because of his goods. Yeah, that guy's been spending too much time worrying about his goods. Not enough time protecting his goods. He's a. Oh, I guess we're gonna catch it since at this point it's already there. Maybe we'll get a ground move that it can learn. Also, don't you get old, old rods somewhere around here? Are you counting grass and water as different encounters? Uh, the way that I'm doing it is I'm doing it by unique locations. Um, so route. 115 counts as its own thing if there was uh, like something uh, akin to the Mirage Tower that would count as its own thing so technically I can fish in most towns because there's not grass in most towns so I can count that as fishing but I don't usually do that I usually just count the routes and then unique locations like Mirage Tower and caves and stuff um, so grass and water do overlap but there are certain places where you can only uh, you can only fish and you can't, there actually isn't any grass, so it is helpful to have the rod. But you get the rod in Duford Town, I, I remember that. Whooper usually live in water, but come out onto land seeking food occasionally on land. They coat their bodies with a gooey, toxic film. Whooper the Trooper? I can do that. Trooper Whooper. As if we didn't have enough water coverage already. I guess it's worth seeing what his ability is. Liquid Ooze, which actually fits his description pretty well, but he will go into the pile of borderline useless Pokemon. And I prefer encounters, so I'm gonna try and sneak by as many people as possible. <laughs> Trooper the Whooper! Quite frankly, uh, I'm not in it for training battles, I'm in it for the encounters. Although, I wanted that to be a double battle, but I guess not. We'll rock you hard. Ha -ha. Speaking of shady characters, <laughs> this guy's gonna rock me. I better worry about my goods. He's got a weeping bell, and I still have Chinchu out front. That sucks. One razor leaf probably does it there, so I'm definitely gonna switch out. Go walls. Uh, it's part poison, so I can't poison it if I remember correctly. So let's see what Tackle does. Not bad. I'll take that, since it essentially cannot hurt me. And a Grimer. Uh, I guess Ankle. I guess it doesn't really matter. None of my Pokemon are really super effective. I bet you'll get something good in the cave. Use the trainers to level it. Yeah, I usually skip um, all these trainers that are above here. All those double battles where you use Cut. Uh, I usually skip them as much as possible. Skip these trainers as much as possible because you don't need them. The next gym, the strongest Pokemon is 19. I'm already level 14. God damn it with the poison gas. Um, so you don't really need these trainers. So I typically leave them... Is Flail going to KO? Yeah. I'll typically leave them to train. And I better get something cool in the cave. Because quite frankly, if I have to go all the way to Duford Town with two usable Pokemon, that'll suck. Uh, I need to antidote. Alright. That guy stands up there in my way. Uh, I can use cut now. Can I get this item without talking to these people? Nah. 
But there is an item. I feel like this is an item. No. Fluffy tail. Salamance incoming. <laughs> the problem with Salamance is I got no way of freaking catching it if I actually encounter it. What is a fluffy tail? Used to flee from any battle. Oh. You should have called it OK Boomer. Hey man, you're the one making nicknames over here. <laughs> you guys are the. It's it's first come first serve in the nickname category. <laughs> Boomer Whooper. <laughs> uh, all right, Rust Turf Tunnel is my last hope to get a legitimate squad member, except for Duford Cave. I don't want to fight you yet. Super Potion. It's actually very useful. Isn't that what it normally is? What are the odds? Rust Turf Tunnel is a do <laughs> a do duo. Which is super weird. Talk about Pokemon I would never raise normally. What does it know? Does it learn Drill Pack? What's its ability? I really want to catch a Pokemon that lay that uh, brings weather. I already encountered Pikachu's that have Drizzle. I would really like to encounter. This shouldn't KO, right? Yeah. I really would like to encounter like a Pokemon that brings Sun. That would be ideal. Especially a grass Pokemon that brings sun. Uh, Bonut or bird? Donut or bird? Alright. What's the... I think I, I could probably catch it right now, right? It's just a Doduo and it's already paralyzed. I mean, more coverage at least starts with Peck for now. Can't remember if it learns fly though. I remember that in the old generations it used to learn fly. I don't know about this one. I'm thinking if it learns. I know it learns try. It's one of the few Pokemon that learns try attack, which is sick. Even while eating or sleeping, one of the heads remains always vigilant for any sign of danger. When threatened, it flees over 60 miles per hour. Bribe or donut or burb? I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't know if I like all of them. I'm gonna go... I'll go with Bribe, because that's the most recent one, but... I'm letting you guys know now, I'm not happy with it. <laughs> We're going to the name raider as soon as someone thinks of a better... Bird-related pun. Two-headed bird-related pun. Uh... Let's see. Ankler is 30 health? I don't want to go back, but I only have super potions. I will give you this in case you need it. Let's hope this guy doesn't have a Mewtwo. What? What are you coming? Come on! Ah, kill it all! That Ash's Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere! Hey you, so you wanna battle me? I do. Mr. Boston Aquaman, I do. What is what does Champion Crystal have? Ooh. Sparkly crystal. Has a ho-oh! <laughs> ah, the legendaries always cease to amaze me. Name it Cerberus. That would have been sick. I wish, uh, man, I wish I waited 10 more seconds to name it. Synchronized Paralyzed Ankler. A ho-oh with Synchronize is such a sick Pokemon. Damn, it looks like Birdman from Rick and Morty. Bird person! <laughs> In bird culture, that's considered a dick move, ho -oh. I love Rick and Morty, by the way. <laughs> okay, we're just... It's a paralyze off here. Bubble should be do two times, and it probably doesn't know Sacred Flame or whatever the heck its special move is yet. Now... Do I outspeed now? I outspeed now. That's cool. Chikorita will die immediately if it comes in, so... A timely crit? Even more speed drop? Ho-Oh no safeguard. Does it not know an attacking move? Okay, Ho-Oh. Big and scary. Not, uh, not quite where it needs to be, though, as far as attacks go. I just finished Season 1. Rick and Morty Season... Maybe the second half of Season 1 through the first half of Season 2 is my favorite show of all time. It's phenomenal. They go on a run in the halfway through the first season into the second season of Rick and Morty where it's just gold all the time. 
And then the, the first episode of season three is amazing. That show is phenomenal. It's starting to tail off a little bit. I think they're having trouble writing it. I just finished season four. I think they're having trouble writing so cleverly. But it is hilarious. And dirty beyond belief. <laughs> Super funny, punny humor. Pico! Am I glad to see you're safe? Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny and you are? Ah, so you're Rob. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You could usually find me in my cottage. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. Uh, bribe. Uh, I gotta go heal. Can I sneak past all these people without healing? I can do this. The question is, can Hop It Blurm cut? Can Hop It be the world's greatest HM slave of all time? It can. Cool. Not definitely can't normally since it's a ball of fluff. But it can in this game because everything's randomized. So I snuck by you. I snuck by you. Did I sneak by this guy or did I fight him? Whatever. Could have been a shield there. That would have sucked either way. Alright, so I am going to... Oh, I gotta talk to this guy. Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods you did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know as my thanks. I'll give you another great ball. Thanks, man. Let's go talk to your boss for six freaking hours. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back from us, could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? Sure, dude. I'll just do all your freaking errands. Maybe see if there's grass on 115 also. See if you can get something else. I don't think there's grass, but I'm definitely going to check. Um, I can go to Duford. And get the old rod and then come back. Which is definitely a possibility. Because the old rod is the, the fisherman just standing outside the gym like, Hey, do you like fishing? And I always do. Um, so I might go... To, I That's actually a good idea. I'm going to go to Duford. If there is no grass, I'm going to go to Duford and then come back. And we'll fish. We'll see what I get. And hopefully it's not another water type. Hopefully it's not a water type. I don't need more of that. In my other playthrough, I have 38 water types, so it's starting to get really frustrating. It seems like every time I get an encounter, it's been a water type lately. The man doesn't want to go outside to protect his good. <laughs> no, the dude just runs away from his goods. This is, uh, when you come back to this area, is one of my favorite parts of the whole game. Because you give him, uh... He gives you the Pokenav, and then you go downstairs to the first floor, and then the dude's like, Oh, it's right now. <laughs> I've been developing an added feature for the Pokenav, and it turns out great. May I see the Pokenav? And then he's like, dude, remember that president you just talked to? Why don't you give him a call? And then they make you call him. Why is this part of the game? They make you call him, and, they're, and then you're looking up at the window like, Hey, president! Like, you just saw him. <laughs> so stupid. Such a stupid part of the game. There's water in Petalburg. Yeah, there is water in Petalburg, but the question is, do I want to use the old rod like 9,000 times? Because I don't know how random we're talking here. The good news is now we have this, so I can map out what I want to do. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go to Doofer. We get one encounter there, and then we're gonna come back here and get an encounter, and then. I think that's it for encounters before the next gym. We do have to fight a hot, hot lady, though. Although, I gotta go train Dotrio. We might need flying coverage. Let's just double check that there's no grass here. There is not, but there's an item. More call outs for the items. And it's a pearl, which is super useful. I'll take the free, what, $3,000? I can't get up there. Yeah. So, no grass yet. We'll have to come back. I do have to switch train. Good old-fashioned bribe. What does he know? Prevents ability reduction, so he's got a good ability. And his nature is sassy. Uh, not that it really matters, but I'm going to check what that means. Sassy is minus the speed plus the special defense. So it's a slightly more bulky <laughs> Dodrio or Doduo. 
Let's switch train it. Two and Duford if you do the surrounding water and then the cave. Um, I could fish for Duford, but there is a part in this game after Norman where you get surf and you get to surf and you get to do route 116, 117, 118, 119 all in a row if you surf right there. So I think I'm going to want to... I think I'm gonna want to save that for when I can do that long surf because it's kind of cool to get like five encounters all in a row because you get an abandoned ship encounter as well so you get five encounters all in a row aka Snorlax wannabe oh are you talking about the Clefable I'm gonna poison it just because it's bulk sp Ugh, it's minimized it's so stupid I just sped through that luster purge metronome Jeez, it's getting super good metronomes Come on! Poison it! Thank you! Do I have a move that doesn't miss? I don't. He are, he's already pretty fast, so extra special defense on him is nice for ice and electric. Yeah, I agree that the that the extra bulk. I, I mentioned before I like the bulk, so I'm, I'm I mean I'm down with it. Ache about the do duo trying to be trying to boost that special defense and slow down. Stop minimizing. Thank God this hit. Please do everything. Ugh. Okay, that's getting too close for my comfort level <laughs> in a nuzlocke. All right, cool. That was a weirdly hard battle right there. A scrape, I have to put on a bandage. Okay, small child, you do that. Look away, lady. I want to do the double battles. Slugma appeared. Uh, can I just beat that? I guess not. So stupid. Another, God, Nuzlocks make everything so freaking annoying. Now I only have one antidote, or no antidotes left. Although I have berries, so I'm fine. Uh, I want to bring Doduo in and switch him out, because then it gets a ton of experience. But at the same time... Kind of sucks that I don't I don't want to run all the way back and heal. So hopefully I can make this a double battle. These guys don't turn the other way. Look. Perfect. If the tunnel goes through, then I'll just go over the top. Over the top. An Absol and a Shelder. Cool. I wish I had an Absol. <laughs> that would be dope. Uh, no risk. No point in risking it. So you're out. And then I will just bubble you. Bubble everybody. All right. Sandstorm bringing Meryl, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I forgot that I fought an Azumarill earlier that brought uh, Sandstorm as well. Such a weird, so weird with randomized abilities. All right, cool. Oh, sweet. We needed this. We need the power before we face May. She might smack us around. Bayleaf, you bulky body slamming son of a gun. Let's get all these items. Just so you know, I've never I've never been bested by anyone in anything. When you lay your eyes on my Pokemon's gorgeous fur, their beauty will render you helpless. I want to know what his Pokemon is with beautiful fur. It's a it's a Magneton. It's so beautiful with its beautiful luscious fur. Oh yeah, I forgot Bribe's leading the way. Stupid Bribe. Magneton has Shadow Tag. Cool. <laughs> Upping my chances that uh, Bribe's going to die by about a thousand percent because Magneton's one electric move away from killing me.
<laughs> yeah. Bribe is super freaking dead now. Yeah, mud sport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna outspeed. Do, should I supersonic magneton and hope that it? I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully now it just will hurt itself and not me. Sorry, bribe. You're kind of on the brink of destruction here. Yeah, I'm hoping he just attacks Chinchu or hurts himself. Oh, bribe! Ah! <laughs> Everyone's being so mean to bribe. Did I use my last super potion? Dear God, no! I don't have like a secret citrus berry in here. Crap. Okay, well we just gotta hope that Magneton doesn't hurt and Barboj doesn't use like tackle. Okay, Barboj is gone. Oh, there's more Pokemon! Fortress, if you explode, I'm gonna freaking lose it. Okay, that's fine. We gotta get Magneton out of this battle to get Shadow Tag out of the way. I don't care about Fortress. We have a chance! Good work, Bribe! Way to witness this battle and not die. Ankler doesn't evolve until 27, and its base stats are super low. Oh. Ho ho ho! Bribe coming in with the big swing! The big swinging Bribey. Ah, Bulbasaur, you could kill me, but I'm probably going to outspeed. I really want to take out Bulbasaur, so I'm going to use Flail just to make sure that it's not like a one damage thing. Wellington's carrying around four restores in his freaking pockets? What's going on with that? Fortress apparently only knows Protect. Uh, Razor Leaf would hit both, but I'm gonna go with Flail and Tackle to try and really get rid of this Bulbasaur. Okay, because he Bulbasaur could KO uh, Ankler with a Vine Whip, so that was dangerous. So now, as long as Fortress doesn't freaking explode, things will go well. What type is is Fortress Bug? Whatever, we'll give it a go. Just in case, we'll paralyze it. See how much Razor Leaf does. Not a lot. Uh, okay. Bug Steel? So that means this is neutral? Oh, cool. Okay, we outspeed, so we win. Jeez, man! The two toughest battles so far have been the double battle before the gym leader and this random ass double battle up in the woods. What's going on with that? Oh baby, say it isn't so! Oh baby! All that for King's Rock. Which is critical hit ratio. Flinch. Not great. Well, after that traumatizing experience, I'm just going to go ahead and skip those guys. <laughs> and see what this is. This is what we're here for. We came all the way this way for an Agwaf Berry. And now we can go fight Mei and heal up. I Did I fight this guy? Yeah, okay. <sighs> now we can go fight Mei. In my last playthrough, Mei had um, Eradicate as her, as her starter. Um, yeah, you can evolve, you can evolve Slow, Slowbro, or, 
Is it Slowpoke or Slowbro? One of the two with King's Rock, but I don't need it now. Um, in my last playthrough, Raticate had Hyper Fang when I first battled there, and typically, you know, Raticate's not a problem, a, a problem, but it's got relatively high attack, it outsped, and Hyper Fang is 90 power this early in the game. Like, get a Politoed or a Slow King. Your Doduo can probably take on those solo trainers now. Yeah, it's getting close. Um, but we'll see. Hello! Hey, Bud Send It. How are you doing, man? I am doing good. We've had some... Uh, we just had a, a heartbreakingly close... Not heartbreaking. A heart, heavy heartbeat going on in that last battle. Um... Because we are trying to train, but there was a shadow tag. But we're doing fine now. We're back on the right road. And we're... The game plan is to go to Duford, get the rod, and then come back. Um, and fish. And get, get an encounter, so... Hopefully we can do that. Uh, that was damn. I'm not gonna send Bribe out. Would you kill baby Hitler? Hmm, I have to admit, that's one of the tougher intro questions I've gotten in a while. But I would have to say yes. I would kill Baby Hitler. Is Baby Hitler in this game? <laughs> is the real question. Is that, your, is that your nomination for the next uh, Pokemon name? You want me to call, are you saying you want me to call it Baby Hitler? How would I do it? That's a question I haven't seen. Yeah, I haven't seen that question. <laughs> I haven't seen that question in a while. Might I say, how would I do it? Hmm. That's a good question. How would I kill Baby Hitler? Well, it is a baby, so I don't. I don't know if it'd be particularly hard, but I think I'd like to <laughs> eat it. <laughs> I think I'd like to change my answer. Um, I'm going to raise baby Hitler, and I'm going to reform it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that it, it, everyone loves its art. I'm going to build it up emotionally. I'm going I'm to build it up emotionally. I'm going to give it a couple good hobbies. And we're going to turn this bad boy around. It's not going to be the Hitler you guys know. It's going to be a top-notch, cool... He's going to go by Adolf. He's not going to be the Hitler that you guys are used to. He's going to be a good guy. Can... Okay. Uh, how much is Bubble gonna do? Adolf Fuhrer. <clears throat> well, sir, since we're on the topic of... Since you brought up the topic of Nazis, have you seen the Rick and Morty episode where every reality he goes to is uh, a, f a fascist regime? Get him into underwater, underwater basket re weaving. That's what I'm saying. No reason why he has to be an artist. We could just give him a different hobby. Maybe we get him into like uh, really early computer technology. Do I? I've seen a lot of Rick and Morty. Exactly. I, anybody who starts a uh, introduces themselves with a question about Baby Hitler has seen a Rick and Morty episode. That's like mandatory. Restores HP, but may confuse. Why can't I use it? Haven't seen that one, though. Well, since you have Baby Hitler-related questions, um, there's one where he uh, Rick dies, and he has a, a technology in place where it brings him back to life in a different body, but he, he gets... It gets rerouted to the wrong dimension, and every dimension that he gets rerouted to is a fascist regime with some weird twist. And I forgot to get healing items, which is why I put uh, Trooper in. Trooper the Whooper! Who's getting smacked around. <laughs> and doing no damage. Man, Ingrain really effed me over on this one. I don't want to lose anybody, no deaths! <laughs> Have I seen Cartman as Hitler in South Park? I have not. I haven't watched... I understand that South Park is an amazing show. Because there's no doubt on this planet. Ooh, I don't like that. 
South Park is an amazing show, but I have not seen him as Hitler. I only watch South Park kind of in spurts. I find that show hilarious, but also exhausting to watch. Uh, like, if you watch a couple episodes in a row, it's freaking exhausting. It's a, it's a lot of sarcasm going on. But we be May. Oh, by the way, Mr. Briny, who I just passed... You just moved here so you might not know this, but Mr. Briny was once a revered seafarer. A seafarer. I gotta remember to get some freaking potions, because I didn't have any potions for the last two battles that I got in trouble with. Uh, we need these for between battle. We need these for during battle. We need these for Pokemons. And we have a pearl. Which we can sell. Which I thought would be 3,000, but it's only 700. That kind of blows. <laughs> Who's the one girl in Pokemon you would smash? Uh, I don't mean to be mean, uh, but your mom's not in Pokemon, so I don't want to smash anybody. <laughs> Rob found a Max Revive, which is useless. I have a clear answer on this. Well, hopefully it's not my mom, because that would be that would be upsetting. <laughs> Gengar. Cool. May is the correct answer. <laughs> I'm a Kanto guy, so it's Misty for me. Misty. Yeah. All right. See, we're on the same, we're on the same, uh, on the same side here. <laughs> uh, I can't. There's items over here that I need. A Vaporeon. Man, that would have been a much cooler friggin' Pokemon to get. <laughs> the red-haired bitch would get the sausage. Alright, man. You're one funny, inappropriate comment away from me not answering you. <laughs> you're right on that cusp of being funny and inappropriate. Charizard. That would have been super cool, too. All these super cool Pokemon that I can't get. Cinequil. I'm just here for the items. This is an item. I'll fight you. Doduo's not doing bad so far. I'm back. Cool, Linus. You, uh... I don't know how many of the interesting questions you missed, but we've gotten some baby Hitler and some... some Sex with Pokemon characters questions since you've been gone. It's been an interesting couple minutes. Hold on, last wait up, Pico. Hmm, yo, Rob, you saved my darling Pico. Yo, so I owe so much to you. What's that? You want to sail with me? Hmm, you have a letter bound for Duford. Yes, old man, please, God, just take me. Dodua is solid attack, so should put in work. I agree. Dodua is actually not a bad Pokemon at all. I think just aesthetically, I think I just don't like it. Thanks, Dad, for finally registering your phone number. All right, this is the this is the Rod guy. Rod guy, come here. <laughs> this is a renowned fishing spot. Are you getting the itch to fish? I am. Thank you. All right. You should just make everyone be from Boston. See, now the problem is, is I'm from Massachusetts, so the Boston accent is extremely freaking annoying. So I get pretty sick of doing it. It will definitely be Team Aqua and Team Magma Grunt's uh, basic uh, name. I'm going to calm down. You got it, Mick. Good. You better calm down, dude. Don't make me come over there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to make everyone the Boston accent just because that absolutely bothers the crap out of me. And I like to think I have a pretty good one, but it's annoying. <laughs> oh, there's so many encounters. I apologize for speeding through so much of this. I am just trying to get back to that water because I want to get a couple encounters before this gym. Why are there so many Mr. Mimes in here all of a sudden? Uh, this is not a unique location. This is still the same route as below here. But we do get to go all the way up here. And we get an encounter here. So I'll go back to normal speed. And get the rod out. Gotta get my rod out. Uh, old rod. Uh, register. Did you get a new Pokemon? Not since Doduo. I think you were here for that. Doduo named Brab. Yeah, you were here for that, so I didn't get anything good. I have a good radio voice. 
Well, look at you coming in strong with the uh, with the Hitler question, and then and then easing right into my soft spot with compliments. I like the way you roll. Oh, a bite! So this is gonna be our encounter on route. Uh, what is it? One fifteen. As soon as I hit A. Did you fight that trainer by the Whalmer Pale House? You skipped them earlier. I fought one of them with Do Duo. Uh, as you saw. And it's a Heracross, which is super cool! Because it learns, actually learns a bug move. I caught a pincer in my last playthrough. Um, of, of, a, of a Nuzlocke, which learns zero, not one, zero bug moves. Zero. All right, this is not gonna KO, right? Jeez. <sighs> oh, you look like you like whiskey. Oh, that sucks. I just murdered the hell out of that Heracross. In my head, Pursuit was a physical move, so Pursuit did one damage, so Peck, even though it was super effective, wouldn't do that much. But it's Gen 3, so Pursuit's a special move, so it just KO'd. Oh, that sucks. You look like you like whiskey. I do like whiskey. That's weird. I feel weird that you said that, because it feels like you know something about me, but it could also just be a good guess. So you're kind of creeping me out. Oh, what an absolute bummer. Damn it. I killed the Heracross. <sighs> now I gotta go all the way back to Mr. Briny. I'm a great judge of character. I can tell. Did you... I can tell that you, that you know a good guy when you see him. Oh, uh, alright. Well, I... I'm working from home right now, so I actually have to go in about five minutes. So I'm going to fight this trainer, and then I'm going to get my encounter in Duford and hopefully not epically murder it, because it's bug fighting, so it's four times a week, and I completely forget. Um, and then after that, I got to go. So this will be like the last five minutes of the stream. So if you have any more Hitler-related questions, now's the time to get out. <laughs> We can tell by, by your Hitler and Pokemon sex questions. <laughs> yeah. Those are usually like when I... It's usually church, you know? You see those nice people. Oh my god, no! Oh, I thought I was going to lose Chinchu too. I'm playing a little too fast right now and it's getting squirrely. You like mustard as well and prefer dark bread over white. I love the fact that you just guessed that because I do that all the time. Uh, where I just guess things and every once in a while you're right. But wrong. I like my bright, my bread white is my skin. And I like, uh, mu I hate mustard. <laughs> so good try, but no cigar. How did he survive is the correct question. Thank God Doug Trio has garbage attack or... I don't even know. I can't believe it survived either. I was convinced it was going down there. But so far we've had Bribe go into the red and uh, Chinchu live a magnitude. So apparently I've got super luck today if you take out the fact that uh, I killed Heracross for no reason. I don't think I have to fight this guy, right? Yeah. All right. So I know that there's an item above him and I know that I can fight him. But like I said, I got to go to work. So this is going to be my last encounter of the day. This guy gives me flash, right? Yeah. This is going to be my last encounter in the unique location of... What is this called? Granite Cave! Our Granite Cave encounter will be here. And it's a Venusaur! Let's not kill this one! <laughs> Man, 197 is 70, which is 105 with stab, and 210 with super effective. I appreciate your math, because I certainly wasn't going to do it. But hot damn, I can't believe that it survived either. Chinchu secretly holding on. The problem being that I don't know what Venusaur knows, 
And if it knows a grass move... If it knows a grass move, it can kill Chinchu, but I need to paralyze it. So I gotta get Chinchu out there. But I, I need to heal him because I'm dumb and didn't heal everything. I'll just make it a super duper potion. Okay. <laughs> I love Venusaur almost the same. It's like right here. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, you said you love Ivysaur, you freaking lied! <laughs> no, Venusaur is sick, and I like I like this animation, uh, or this drawing. So it's paralyzed. <laughs> Press X to doubt. <laughs> no! Okay. <laughs> Whoops! I was supposed to send out uh, Bayleaf there, and I send out Umlet. But he's got high special defense, right? Hey, Umlet, you're fine. Back to walls, my bad. One more chance! Oh, that sucks. Okay, it doesn't help me. It doesn't hurt me. Hmm. I'm gonna heal just to be safe. Just in case it crits. I don't know, Venusaur's kinda strong, so... The only problem with Venusaur is I immediately get rid of walls if I get Venusaur, so that part kinda sucks. Okay. No crit patrol, please. Alright, we've got like 20, we got 20 chances at it. Or however many balls I have. 15, 16, 17, 18 chances at it. Venusaur, get in my ball. One shake. Not great, not great, but we got 16 more chances. 17 more chances. I'm gonna save the great balls for last just in case. We got plenty of money to buy more if we need it. All right, one shake, two shake. Next one's gonna be three. Let's go with the premier ball. Venusaur seems like uh, Venusaur seems like it likes to be premier. I guess not. <laughs> I gotta catch it before I call it anything. What are the odds of catching a Venusaur with low health and paralyzed with a Pokeball? It can't be super high, but it can't be that low, right? It's not like a legendary. It's gotta be like 5% chance or 10% chance. Come on! I caught a freaking Mewtwo with a with a Great Ball in my last playthrough. <laughs> call it Ivysaur. <laughs> I should call it Ivysaur. It'd be funny. It's destiny. <laughs> Come on, Pokeball. End my day on a good day. Not even close. What a time to need False Swipe, eh? I'm gonna mix in a Great Ball. Increase those odds by 50%. I want it! <laughs> Get in my Pokeball, what the hell? This is the worst, because it just can't hurt me. There's like no... Venusaur! <laughs> we got that thing! That thing right there! That's in my team now! Let's freaking go! Venusaur's flower is set to take on vivid colors if it gets plenty of nutrition. And sunlight, the flowers aroma soothes and emotions. Uh, I stopped reading. Uh... <laughs> After wasting all my Pokeballs, that's how you spell Ivysaur, right? Ivysaur was transferred to the PC. And that's where I'm ending it today, guys. I gotta go back to work. As you can see, I'm wearing a freaking button-up shirt. I look like a Mr. Weird Professional guy. Thank you guys all for watching. Uh, I'll probably be back tomorrow. Deuce!